Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I am Jed Lockett, and today is Wild Card Wednesday. And for this Wild Card Wednesday, I decided to go someplace and buy cards at a place I'd never purchased from before. A store called Five Below. This store has things that are either $5 or less. And for $5, I got this baseball card collector storage cube. Uh, 100 cards, two packs, four star cards, a Hall of Fame card, uh, one card from each of the five past decades, or past five decades, rather. And, of course, the storage cube. So, if we're getting them... one card from each of the past five decades, there is something from the 70s in here. Uh, because 2010s, 2000s, 1990s, 80s, and 70s. So I do expect a bunch of junk wax, but uh, also we might get something good. Who knows? Uh, there's this 1990 Upper Deck Pack. That's one pack that we got. The other pack, a 2017 Topps Opening Day Pack. And of course, there's the price tag, $4.99. And one of the star cards we got was a 1990 Topps Barry Bonds. So, this was packaged by the Fairfield Company. Uh, they do stuff for Target and also do stuff for Walgreens and I guess Five Below as well. So, with all of that having been said, I would already kind of tried to peel this off a little bit before... Before recording, there we go. Nice. That peeled off nicely. And we have us a nice cube. I could see. Go ahead and peel off the price tag while we're at it. I could see doing. Like a really nice 100 card team thing with this cube. Maybe as a, uh, maybe as a Patreon perk or something. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you would be willing to do Patreon and, uh, I would... This would be a good idea for a Patreon perk. Who knows? All right. There we go. We are in. There's our 1990 Tops Barry Bonds. And it is in great, great shape. Fantastic shape, actually. So we'll put that to the side. Oh, there's a 1990 Fleer in there. We will do the random cards first, then the 1990 Upper Deck, and then finally the 2017 Opening Day. Not one particular set that I'm looking to complete from this, but who knows, it might help. Uh, we have a 1990 Fleer, Players of the Decade, uh, Roger Clemens. 90 Fleer is one of my favorite sets, period, of my youth. Uh, 92 Upper Deck, Casey Candiale. Uh, this, I think, is 89 score. Yep, Steve Bouchel. Upper Deck SP of Mark Witten from 1993. When these came out, I remember when these first came out, they were all the rage in the collecting world. A7 Tops, love A7 Tops, Russ Moran, Mormon rather, Russ Mormon. Some more Upper Deck SP, nice. Robbie Thompson. We've got 2018 Tops of Ian Kennedy. That's Series 1. I can put that towards that set. Nice. Uh, Tops Heritage of Jose Peraza. 
That's from 20, 2018 tops. Heritage. Nice. Uh, Fleer Ultra, Ultra, Roberto Hernandez. Uh, got some 2016 tops. Mitch Moreland and Ruben Tejada. I actually got a whole bunch of 2016 tops. Just begging to be opened, but, uh, yeah, I really like this design. Very cool. Very, very cool. 86 tops. I recognize the back. Kenta Colve. Nice. And then this one, this is another tops heritage of James Roger House. 2003, I think. JR House. All right. Greg Hibbard from 92 Score. Lou Whitaker, 92 Score. Jack Howell, that's 91 Score. Yep. I got a Bowman of Alex Rios. Another score of Sandy Alomar Jr. from 1991. We got Chris Heisey from, I think this is 2010 tops. 2012, 2011. 2011 tops. I'm still trying to learn all the newer designs. I know the older ones from the uh, so called junk wax era. UD Patch Collection, Karim Garcia. All right. This is 2006, 2007. Tops. Phil Hughes. 2008. All right. What is... Okay, I remember these. Stu Stu Studio. Brett Saberhagen. Got a uh, 90 score, Bobby Bonilla, 91 score rather, a couple more 92 score, Phil Plantier and Bud Black, a Bowman Chrome of Octavio Dotel, 2012 tops, Edwin Encarnacion, yep. Another Edwin Encarnacion, this time a 2006 Upper Deck. More Tops Heritage. Matt Holliday. From 2012. Lots of variety in this stuff. This is a good buy. Another Tops Heritage of Matt Kemp. This one from 2015. Another Matt Kemp. From 2007 tops. Yep, 2007 tops of Matt Kemp. Tony Pena from Leaf, 1993. 89 tops of Chris James. We've got a oh, Todd Van Poppel. A classic draft picks from 1990. He was, at the time... One of the big, big name players to come out of the draft and did not have much of a career, unfortunately, for him. 87 Donruss of Greg Harris. And then we've got a classic trivia card from Mark McElmore. Of Mark McElmore. McElmore. That's interesting. Upper Deck Collector's Choice. That looks like Barry Bonds. Checklist. 96. 1996. David Justice from Stu Stu Studio. Whoa. Bowman of Paul Canerco. Another Paul Canerco. This time from Fleer Box Score. 
2002. 2002 Domus, another Canerco. My Paul Canerco PC just went from zero to through the roof. Another 2007 Tops of Scott Casimir. Now we're getting into tw some 2017 Tops. Nice. Put, add these to a set that I'm putting together. Got Colby Rasmus. Christian Betancourt. And, whoa, I see something good coming up. A triplet of twins. To some trio, yuck it up at the ballpark. Don't have this card. So I'll add that to the 2017 set build that I'm doing. Here we have a Justin Verlander. And a Yasiel Puig. Nice. Now we're getting into some good stuff. We've got 89 Fleer of Roger Clemens. Nice. And now we've got a 88 Tops of Bo Jackson. That's a cool Bo Jackson card. 88 Tops, not my favorite design, but that is a cool card. Lynn Nolan Ryan Jr. This is 90 Donruss. I recognize it from, uh, from that orange back. The Cheeto Dust back. 5,000 strikeouts for Nolan Ryan. Wonderful stuff. We've got Darren Lewis from Upper Deck Collector's Choice of 93. Remember that. Another 90 Donruss, this time Dave Winfield. 89 Donruss of Dave Henderson. Steam Club of Ron Karkavice from 94. 91 Donruss, Don Paul. Another 91 Donruss, Ivan Calderon. Another Mark Mecklemore. This time from 93, no, 94 Collector's Choice. I'm sorry. That other one was also a 94. 87 Donruss of Bill Mooneyham. Uh, 90 score, Ernie Witt. And we've got a steam engine from 2008, a piece of history baseball. Okay. I'm sure I'd have to open up the packs of that particular product to understand. 89 score, or 89 Donruss, rather, Mike Diaz. These are all beginning to run together. Dave Winfield, Community Heroes from 93 Upper Deck. They did a heck of a job of mixing these. Uh, Matt Holliday from SP Legendary Cuts 2008. 89 Donruss MVP insert of Dave Winfield. Awesome. Steve Scarson from Donruss of 95 Donruss? I'm going to say it's 95 Donruss. What is this? This is some tops. The Cincinnati Reds from 2005 tops. Neat. Sid Bream from Score Select of 93, I want to say. We've got some Allen and Ginter. Love Allen and Ginter. 2008, Alfonso Soriano. Definitely take that. 94 tops. This is Dave Fleming. J.D. Drew from Tops Total. 2005. Pinnacle, Steve Finley. 95. Todd Hundley. From, what is this? Something, 95 Leaf. 95 Leaf. All right, we've got some 2006 tops. Austin Kearns. I've been 
looking to get some of these and break them on the channel so good to get another one of those uh 2005 tops of Ivan Rodriguez and then we've got some more collector's choice 93 collector's choice of John O'Donohue Pedro Martinez from Upper Deck MVP uh, UD Ionics, Andrew Jones, that's a wild card. 92 score, Rick Aguilera. Nice, we've got some A6 Donruss, Willie McGee. Definitely take that. 91 tops, love 91 tops, Mike Benjamin. 91 tops, one of my favorite sets of my youth. Anytime tops came out with something really good. Back in the day, I wanted to have it. 94 Fleer, Tim Leary. Another 94 Fleer of Mike Harkey. Travis Fryman from 91 Leaf. 91 Leaf, Joel Skinner. Oop. There's the Joel Skinner. Got a couple of A6 tops, Ken Daly. Mark Clear. And we've got Chuck Finley. This is Sport Flix from 1990. Todd Burns from Upper Deck. This is 94, 93 Upper Deck. All right. Troy Percival. Diamond Debuts. Keep doing that. 93 Upper Deck. A8 score, Mark Sullivan. Know something about that stuff. Another 93 upper deck of Jose Mesa. Rod Beck from Leaf. Mark Portugal. Also from Leaf. And a Willie McGee. And some more 88 score. We got Scott Fletcher. Roger McDowell. Tony Phillips, and we'll see here, what else, 95 Pinnacle, Pedro Estacio, 97 Pinnacle, Lenny Dykstra, and 96 Leaf Studio of Earl Hershiser. no cards from the 70s, so I'm a little disappointed in that. They advertise cards from the last five decades, so I've expected to see something a common from the 1970s, so, but we didn't see it in that. Still fun, though. Still, still a lot of fun. And we've got two more packs to open. We've got this 1990 upper deck. Let's crack into this straight away. Jerome Walton. Scott Fletcher, Steve Lake, there's Mike Aldrich with the Expos, Jose Rio, the year he was a World Series hero in Cincinnati, Bob Walk, John Farrell, a Rangers hologram. Wally Joyner. Mickey Weston. Ron Oster. Ron Hassey. A 1990 Collector's Choice. Who is that? George Bell. And a Blue Jays checklist. Bobby Rose. Ed Witted and Tony Pena. Last pack is going to be our 2017 opening day pack. And it does not want to cooperate. We have Curtis Granderson. 
Adam Wainwright, Robinson Cano, the Philly Fanatic, Johnny Cueto, Ryan Schimpf, and Drew Smiley. Well, I have a bit of sorting to do. I've got to get out the 2017 Tops binder and see what of these I can put towards that set. I will be back shortly. Back after uh, my very short sort and some really good news on two different fronts. First of all, we got the 2018 Tops card of Ian Kennedy. Uh, and that was one that I needed to put towards that set uh, of the 350 cards uh, in a top series one from 2018. I had 92. I now have 93 of them. And so that drops the magic number for that down to 257. Yay! Also, a 2017 tops series two. I was actually getting ready to open a bunch of these for Thrifty Thursday, some fat packs from Sam Walton's General Store. We got that triplet of twins card. That was one that we did not have. So that brings that magic number down from 84 to 83 to uh, 67 of the 350 cards I've got. So yay on that too. And then of course, there's all of this other sorting that I've got to do. The only bad thing about this cube, it was a lot of fun to open, but the bad thing was I'd expected to get at least one card from the 1970s, because that's what they kind of, kind of advertised there, but did not get one so still though i think i would get another one in fact i have another one to open for the channel let me know if you want to see me do more of those and also let me know if you want me to do some perks i'd love to get on patreon and who knows maybe take one of these empty cubes and fill it up with say a hundred cards of a certain baseball team or football team if you would be interested in that let me know in the comments below that will do it for this video please like comment share and subscribe and until next time i am jed lockett saying that i hope great things for you are in the cards